Hi guys, today's battle report. We're going to be playing uh, Warhammer 40k The Rules, 7th edition. And we're going to be playing uh, Blood Angels with Imperial Knight Allies against Astro Militarium. Here's the armies. On the Blood Angel side, for the HQ choice, we're being led by Mephiston. He is going to be the Warlord. For our first troop choice, we have one Assault Marine squad who dropped off their uh, backpacks, and the squad has an Infernus pistol, the sergeant has a Storm Shield and Power Fist, and they took a Land Raider. For the second troop choice, we have another Assault Marine squad. This is a full 10-man squad. Uh, sergeant is Storm Shield and Power Sword, and it has two Plasma pistols. For the first elite choice, we have a Furioso Dreadnought Librarian, uh, and he took a drop pod. For the next elite choice, we have a uh, Sanguinary Priest on a bike. For a fast attack choice, we have a group of uh, bikers. The Sergeant has a Power Lance, and the attack bike has a Heavy Bolter. For a heavy support choice, we have Storm Raven with Assault Cannons, Heavy Boulders, and Hurricane Boulders. Finally, as an allied detachment, we have one Imperial Knight. I'm using this uh, Dreamforge uh, Leviathan. Okay, for the Astro Militarum side, uh, leading it, we have Commissary Yarrick as the HQ and uh, Warlord. For the first troop choice, we have one veteran squad with two grenade launchers, a melta gun, and the sergeant doesn't have anything special, and they took a Chimera as a dedicated transport. Chimera has heavy stubber, multi-laser, and heavy bolt. For the second troop choice, we have uh, another veteran squad, this one with three sniper rifles, a heavy weapons team with a missile launcher with flak missiles, and uh, Gunnery Sergeant Harker. And uh, we actually were supposed to have a Chimera with this, but apparently we forgot to pull it out of the kit. So actually the, the Astro Monterum is going to be one tank short through this whole battle. For a fast attack choice, we have a Hellhound with the, uh, the Hellhound whatever flamer and then a flamer in the front. Uh, for the next uh, fast attack choice we have two vendettas. Uh, they are in separate squadrons. For a heavy support choice we have a Lehman Russ squadron. Uh, one battle tank with last cannons, uh, one vanquisher with last cannon. They both have heavy bolter sponsons. For another heavy support we have one Hydra fresh off the factory floor. For an elite choice, we have one group of four Rattlings. Finally, as a Lord of War, we have a Shadow Sword with Last Cannon Sponsons. Okay, after deployment, uh, we got some Assault Marines over here. We have the whole bike squad, uh, including the single round bike, behind the Imperial Knight. We have Mephiston ducking in behind a Land Raider. We have some Rattlings up on top of the building right there. We have a Hydra ducking in behind that building. We have one Veteran Squad in there. The Shadow Sword flanked by two Lehman Rust tanks. The Hellhound and the, uh, the Chimera has the other Veteran Squad. And the two Vendettas, of course, in reserves. Storm Raven's in reserves. Inside the Storm Raven is the other Assault Squad. And uh, we have the Lehman Ross Fur uh, Furioso Librarian in a drop pod. He's going to come in on turn one. On our objectives, we have one there. Second one is right, number three is right there. Number six is there. Number five. Uh, number one's on the road. And the last one is up there. So, you want to attempt to steal first turn? And he does not, so we'll be back after uh, Blood Angels, turn one. Okay, after Blood Angels, turn one, uh, Mephiston jumped into Land Raider and it went 12 inches up and then shot what it could at them and did not uh, manage to do anything. The bikers just went ahead and went turbo boosted up and got and 
recognize that objective as being nothing. That objective is also nothing. This objective gives these ratlings uh, skyfire, just so you can get caught up in the objective. Uh, the Imperial Knight moved forward and uh, did his battle tank and everything and tried to wound some guys over here and his big shooters and did not uh, actually do anything. He did try to charge the tank, but he did fail his charge, which wasn't surprising of the distance. The uh, assault squad just jumped and then ran over there to the building. So that is it for Blood Angels. Uh, hold on. Okay, so the Blood Angels uh, objectives they have right now is Recon... Ascendancy and Scour the Skies, and they have none of them so far. And they are going to... Okay, so at the end of the turn, I am going to get rid of Ascendancy so that we can draw a new objective next turn. Okay, after the Astro Militarum's turn one, from now on I'll call them guard, uh, the, the Chimera with the Arcs... Chimera moved forward. Uh, the Hellhound moved forward, and he flamer templated this guy and took a whole point off. Obviously, the Stormlord or the Shadow Sword fired forward and uh, did get a destroyer hit, but only rolled a uh, he rolled a two for the type of hit, and then only rolled a one for the number of whole points gone. So um, he only lost one whole point. Uh, we did lose one bike from the destroyer hit, also. Uh, these snipers shot out and removed another one of the bikes, and then uh, he fired the last cannon and some heavy boulders of the bikes and did remove another one. Uh, he other, he last cannoned uh, the Imperial Knight also, but did not get through. The Vanquisher fired his gun over here to Land Raider and took off a whole point and uh, uh, shook him. So he's only uh, snap firing next turn, but he can still move. Uh, the Hydra fired everything at the Furioso. We think we forgot to say that last time. The Furioso did drop pot in there. And uh, did uh, get a six, but didn't get through his armor. So that is the guards turn one. Okay, so the guards objectives that they got was secure objective number five, hold the line, and uh, demolitions. And they just didn't get hold the line uh, just because the Furioso was right there. But they are really close to getting hold the line, but they are going to remove demolitions. Okay, Blood Angels, turn two. Land Raider uh, moved forward and shot at this squad, but didn't manage to do anything. Drop Pod shot at that squad, didn't manage to do anything. The Furioso uh, did his uh, melta power, psychic power, and did take out the Hydra, so that was first blood. Uh, this big guy shot at and stood up the hill point off of this Lehman Russ, and then, of course, he charged into the assault and took care of business and did exactly the hole points needed to bring down the Super Heavy, which uh, went apocalyptic right there, and his shield saved him from that blast, but that Lehman Russ definitely took another one, but he still has one hole point left, and he is uh, shaken. The assault marines jumped up into that just to make sure they got that objective. The bikes moved over and got that objective. So it released, you know, cleared that objective. However, you want to look at it. So that is the end of Blood Angels. Uh, they are going to score one victory point uh, for having that objective, and they are basically stealing that objective from the Imperial Guard player. So uh, looking at the objectives, we have uh, one stolen objective. Uh, we do not have Scour of the Skies. We do not have the Recon objective, and the last one we drew, the new one, is Secure Objective Number Two, and the Blood Angels do not have that yet. Okay, after the guards turn two, the two Lehman Russes repositioned and shot at the knight, but uh, his shield saved the day. Uh, we have a flamer template that came out here and tried to take off a whole point. Uh, this uh, Chimera moved forward and tried to shoot at him and uh, did not get any uh, glancing hits on it. Those two Vendettas both failed their reserve rolls. Uh, this big blob shot at the uh, Furioso Library in the back and stripped him down to one hole point. He's still alive, but he has one. Uh, these Ratlings uh, realized too late during the shooting phase they were kind of out of position for anybody. So they shot one guy who could shoot at the bike squad and they did not get uh, a hit. And then they did their uh, scooch afterwards and uh, ran forward to the edge. So they hopefully will get a better shot next turn. Uh, victory points wise, they uh, stole this from the Blood Angels. Okay, so the guard uh, replacement 
ones they drew was secure objective number one, which they did not get. And then the uh, Hungry for Glory. So he is going to remove the Hungry for Glory. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But he did score one victory point from stealing an objective from the Blood Angels. So we'll be back after the Blood Angels turn three. Okay, at the end of the Blood Angels turn three, the knight uh, shot his uh, auto bottle, bottle cannon and took out one Lehman Ross, took a wound or a whole point off of another one. He moved forward into the charge, he rolled his dice, and he completely epically whiffed every single one of them. So, no damage in close combat. That Lehman Russ yet lives. Mephiston, being the awesome man that he is, disembarked from Lehman Russ, came in here, shot at, oh, assaulted God. that uh, uh, veteran platoon, and wiped them out completely. Uh, just to be fair, uh, this guy tried to do his flamer template psychic power and uh, did failed his psychic test, and he tried to get into the close combat charge and failed his charge distance, so he really whiffed there as well. But it's all right. These bikes went over here and, and uh, identified that objective. And then shot at these uh, ratlings. But they all made their cover saves. They're doing great. These assault marines just kind of hanged out in there and did pretty good. The uh, storm raven came in. The assault squad disembarked using skies of blood. Scattered over onto the train. Made all of their difficult train tests. Shot their one in furnace pistol at that uh, hellhound. And did explode him. So pop goes that. And they took that objective. They're the big winners this round. Storm Raven shot at that Chimera and wiped it out, killing a few of the guys inside. So that is where we're sitting. Okay, the new tactical objective I drew was the uh, secure objective number two, which uh, he was on top of it. That's why I disembarked with those assault marines. So I did score that objective. I have now also identified all the objectives. So I've scored a second one. So uh, I have one, two, three, four. Uh, three? Yeah, four. Three! Three plus four! Uh, first blood, so I'm doing awesome! We'll be back after the Imperial Guards turn three. Yeah. Okay, so the Vendetta uh, came in and shot at the Storm Raven and stripped off like, one whole point. That's all he managed to do. Uh, Yark Squad ran into the cover. The Lehman Russ backed up a little bit and fired at the uh, Imperial Knight, but he made his invuln saves. These uh, Ratlings scooched over so that all of them could get a line of fire on these bikes and um, managed to get one hit go through, but he made his armor save. Uh, that's it for the guard's turn. Okay, so on this turn, we rolled the secure objective number four, and then we rolled the psychological warfare for pinning. And he, his Rattlings are on the objective, so he did get that one. And we forgot to note it last Blood Angel's turn, but he did have the secure objective number one, which Blood Angel stole from him. Uh, so he's going to drop off the psychological warfare and hold the line, because he doesn't see that happening anymore. So we'll be back. Uh, this is the end of three, so we'll be back after turn four. Okay, Blood Angels, turn four. Uh, Storm Raven just uh, went into hover mode, skimmed sideways, shot at the flyer, and wasn't able to do anything. Land Raider shot at the flyer, wasn't able to do anything. Mephiston shot at the flyer, wasn't able to do anything. It's like it's a pattern. Uh, the Furiosa Librarian uh, moved forward, did his psychic uh, molten beam, and took out the Lehman Russ, uh, which left the super heavy walker with nothing to do. So he was pretty much stuck. Bikes uh, zipped over, shot at the Ratlings, did kill two of them, and they did fail their test, so they are fleeing. And I think that was it. Okay, so for the new tactical objectives, I got uh, Secure Objective Number 1, which we did score, and Secure Objective Number 4, which uh, the guard player is probably going to score on his turn, and we still have Scour in the Skies, which I did not get. On to Imperial Guard, turn 4. Okay, and the guards turn four. The second flyer came in so he could fire at the raven, and he shot at him. And the raven did jink, and he made his jink saves. Uh, this uh, uh, raven, or excuse me, uh, Vendetta, 
spun around, put himself into hover mode, and shot at the back of the uh, Imperial Knight. And the Imperial Knight did move his shields, but did finally fail his inborn save, and he lost a whole point. He was so close to doing some damage. Uh, Yark and his squad jumped into that vendetta. Uh, these Ratlings made their regroup test, took that objective, and shot, snap fired at that Furioso since he only has one whole point left and did not get a six. Okay, the Imperial Guard player drew three new objectives, and he had uh, secure objective number three, secure objective number four, and the uh, Ascendancy, where he's got to control three objectives, and he's going to drop that one off because he has he doesn't have enough left on the table to be able to get three objectives, but he did score the objective number four. So, and then he also stole the objective number four from the Blood Angel player. So he did get a couple of victory points here. So we'll be back at the, after the top of five. Okay, at the end of uh, Blood Angel's turn five, the Storm Raven shimmied it to the side and fired at the rear arc of that flyer. And pretty much everything I had fired at that flyer, who's not in flying mode, mind you. And all we managed to do was uh, uh, strip off a whole point and a weapon destroyed. And that's that's it. That was it. Mephiston, look at that distance. Look at it. He failed the charge range. But don't worry, he's fleet. He failed it twice. Oh, well, at least he wiped out a different unit. And over here, the drop pod actually killed off another sniper rattling, but he made his uh, save that time. So uh, we did score one objective from stealing it from the guard player because we have that uh, objective point. So there was a good reason to have these guys up here all game long, I guess. Um, okay, we'll be back after the guards. Actually, we'll be back in a second. The three objectives the Blood Angels have now is secure objective number four, which is the one the Rattlings are still holding. Overwhelming firepower, which I failed to do this turn, and to drop down a flyer, which I also failed to do. So we'll be back after the guards turn five. Okay, after the guards turn five, this Vendetta went into hover mode, shimmied back so that the Raven would have a hard time getting in behind him. Shot at the knight, but only managed to strip a whole point. Uh, this one put himself back into flying mode, zoomed across the table, and shot at these bikes, and actually did manage to drop a bike. Then at the end of the turn, that Ratling stole another victory point from the Blood Angels. And then the guard drew secure objective number one, which the Blood Angels actually have, or had. Uh, he drew blood and guts, which is the uh, damage to the assault, which is probably not going to happen. And then harness the warp, which definitely can't happen. So he's going to drop off those two for sure, in case it continues on to another turn. And to see if the game continues to another turn. Five! The game continues to another turn. Blood Angels, turn six. The uh, Librarian figure. So just kind of backs up to keep his rear arc a little bit safe. Uh, this guy just, uh, fired at him with both of his uh, shots with the battle cannon, and uh, both of them penetrated, and he made both of his jinx saves. So he's doing awesome. Uh, did uh, put Mephiston back on Land Raider, but didn't spin Land Raider around just in case. Storm Raven put himself in zooming, shot at, and dropped. The flyer scoring a victory point and two, actually two victory points from the the uh, tactical objectives. The whole unit inside was wiped out except for Yarick, who's got Eternal Warrior, so he lived. So then the bikers thought we'll finish him off, and they shot at him and took off another wound. And then the then the drop pod tried to be the hero of the day and take out Yarick, but he didn't quite do it. Yarick kept making a save, so Yarick yet lives. The new uh, tactical objective was assassinate. I didn't quite get that, but like I said, I got scour the skies and overwhelming firepower. So that's two more VP for Blood Angels. This vendetta scooched over because he's still jinked, and he uh, tried to take out the knight again and dropped him down to one hole point. We almost got him, not quite. Yark is trying to jump over there to get Linebreaker, and he didn't quite make it. Uh, the Rattling moved over, rolled a six to hit that, and then did not get a wound. And then uh, scooched back a little bit after the run. And for his objectives, he rolled and got uh, secure objective number six, secure, secure objective number five, and six again. So two of sixes. And just sweeto, six is right there next to the Land Raider. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. And let's see if the game's going to continue on to turn seven. And we roll a five. This madness, pain, and suffering will continue. Be back after Blood Angels, turn seven. Okay, the end of Blood Angels, turn seven. We shot the crud out of Yark, and he's laying on his dead, his last dying breath. Uh, we don't want to look up the FAQ, so we're just assuming that I wouldn't be able to score that victory point for killing the character because he still has a chance to come back up. So if he dies on his turn getting back up, I score. If he gets back up, I don't score. We're just going to do it that way to make it fair. Um, the uh, Storm Raven, of course, he zoomed over. That guy picked up that objective. He zoomed over. Uh, snap fired at this uh, Vendetta. The uh, Super Heavy came up, fired both of his battle cannon, hit with one of them, managed to get an immobilized results. So we thought, this is it! He's going down! There's no way I'm going to fail! And he fails his charge distance. Yeah. Yeah, I'll roll a four. Okay! Uh, Scoring-wise, uh, the Blood Angels... We rolled up to secure objective number two and secure objective number five. We have five here. Uh, we also have number two, so we score both of those. Plus, we steal all three objectives from the Imperial Guard this round two, just to just to really, really rub it in that the Blood Angels are rubbing us in or uh, wiping them out. We'll be back after the end of the game. Okay, at the end of the game, the Vendetta shot at that, got one, he had a snap fire because of Jink, of course, and he got one through, and then he whiffed on the penetration roll, so the Imperial Knight yet lives. That was the moral victory of the day, and he failed his moral victory, too. Yarrick, of course, stood back up like the Necron that he is, uh, ran over here, gave himself the orders to shoot and run, shot at them, didn't quite get anybody, and then ducked in over there, so... Uh, the Rattling kind of moved forward to shoot at them and didn't quite get anything, so... Uh, he did get Linebreaker. Blood Angels got Linebreaker. Nobody got Slay the Warlord. But it's a definite victory for the Blood Angels. Game on. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, share. Uh, you can circle me on the Google Plus circles. You know, we can all make circles together. And, uh... Uh, you know, game on.